dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I? Um, I'm Mercedes Zapata. I'm an artist, photographer from Chicago, from the Southwest side. I am a creative. I like to paint and draw and watercolor, but I mostly like to focus on my photography and take pictures of people, specifically women, and just giving an honest portrayal of them. What makes me feel good is making someone who might not necessarily feel comfortable in front of a camera comfortable, or also when they see the finished product and how happy it makes them and how beautiful it makes them feel, like that makes me feel really good. And that makes me want to just do more and more. I feel that growing up, I never really saw photographs of women taken by women. And there's this distinct difference because you can tell when someone is posing for themselves or posing for out of comfort or they're posing for an idea that's been sold to them their whole lives of sexuality and what women have to look like. And I know that I'm more comfortable when I know the person who's photographing me or if I know that their intention isn't bad, when their intention is to just make me happy in front of a camera. And I feel like that's my strongest point is when I'm talking to women and photographing them and just learning about them and learning about the many layers of their life that they have and what makes them them. So I find them very inspiring. Where I'm from, everything was very coded, I guess, in a way, or sheltered. I wasn't really outspoken. I wasn't really showing my artwork. I don't feel like any of the artists in the area do. It's very much like blue collar. We work, we work, we work. So many people try to glamorize what Chicago is and what neighborhoods are. And they, when they think of Chicago, they think of the loop. They don't think about the grittiness or the hardships. They don't think about the long train rides and bus cancellations and going through the snowstorms and dealing with the humidity like they don't think about all of the ugly sides and the ugly side is our daily reality and we, we love it and it makes us us it shapes us I feel like Chicagoans view the world differently and like we all view the world differently right from no matter where you're from but I feel like Chicago always knows that it's not going to be easy and no matter where we go we can hold that really hard-working attitude that we have and Something that you'll realize walking around that everyone's like super optimistic and it's bizarre because everything's put against us. All the violence, all the corrupt politics, like everything is working against us, but we're still really prideful and really happy because we know at the heart of it, it's really good people. And some neighborhoods have been set up for success. Some have not, but they're still really good people working together to make it a better tomorrow and make Chicago home. So I feel like I, I wear Chicago really proudly because I can only ever imagine myself from Chicago. I think that Pilsen is distinctively colorful and they don't hold anything back. There's a lot of blue collar um, families going on, but everyone's very prideful of their work or even if they're not super prideful, they're still showing it and sharing it. There's like, like this guy in front of us right now is this grand muralist who also owns a coffee shop, you know, and he was one of the most humble people in the neighborhood. What I think of when I think of a Chicago neighborhood, when everyone knows each other, everyone's saying hi to each other, there's a lot of support at shows in their in gallery spaces, or if there's a new business opening, there's always a really strong sense of community. I can look outside one day and there's like a march going down my street and I'll be able to like just get up and go and join it and know that someone will explain it to me, know that there's someone that I know. And I just love that. And I love that there's so much pride in our culture too. I feel like Pilsen, there's just treasures in every little place that you walk. I, I really love that about it. We're the product of resistance and we are constantly going to push ourselves and make sure that we're known. You can walk down the street and see like heroes painted on the walls and you can see a lot of different like folkloric signs. You can see it and feel at home and feel safe. And I think that's another reason why we're so prideful. It's a population of immigrants and we want to make sure everyone knows that this is home too. Feminism to me is that constant like defense of our sisters, you know, like really defending different groups and being able to like focus where focus needs to be. And yeah, it's going to be equal rights, but I really feel like 
it's really standing together and making sure that we have the same facilities, we have the same um, education, we have the same pay, like all across the board. And I feel like that seems impossible now. And I feel like people think that it's already happening, but it's still such a struggle throughout the world, and especially in, like in this country. I feel like men are still more respected in the artist community. And um, I feel like there is a lack of uh, support for like the queer community too, especially for artists. That in itself is something that we have to work on too. But there's a lot to work on. If I'm taking portraits of people, it's, it's really just a uh, expression of them and just like my interpretation. But if you see a photograph of like myself and like maybe if something looks like a little bit more artsier, like there's like clouds or something there, that's more for me and that's more like a thought out thing. If I sell portraits are like, that's like me if I was painting. When I'm doing a form of like self-expression or really just wanting to like release some emotions, um, I will usually go towards a canvas first, but if I feel like it's better in a photograph, I'll do that. So like I was telling you, um, I like to be creative with myself. So like I'll, like I drew over my hands and um, I'll like find a flower crown in my room and just like play with that. Or even if it's just like I was in the sun a lot a week and I came home and my like face looked full of freckles. I'm like, I need to capture this because it's one of my favorite things about myself and I feel like I was made fun of it growing up. I'm like, no, I love this. It's like my favorite part about my face. So I want to take a picture of it. Uh, I feel most of myself like taking my own photograph. Um, I only really let people who are like really close to me take more like honest portraits of me. And I feel like those are my favorite photographs. Like people who I kind of know take my photographs. I love those photographs too, but it's just like they're, they mean different things. I like to wear blue eyebrows. Um, I like wear a lot of teal, and I like usually wear blue, blue eyebrows if I'm going to work because I'm selling like skincare and cosmetics. But it just, I just feel comfortable wearing it. And one day I did the most perfect job on my eyebrows, and everything looked good, like my eyeshadow, everything. And so I went home and just took a million pictures of myself and I really liked it. It came out as a series really and everything looked like rose gold in that photograph. And I'm like, this is so nice. Like this is so cool. And I interpreted it as like like all my captions, if you read them, like it's a lot of like this is how I view myself and like this is how I view the world. Like I really want to see things as paintings, as artwork. And I'm here trying to just capture it. You know, I'm just trying to pull that out. So the more work I get to do that's more creative. I love that and that's usually for myself and really like I feel like that's where people get to know me more when they see pictures that I take of myself or like really creative portraits that I take whereas if I'm taking someone's like portrait in the moment or like at an event or like in their homes I feel like that's more of an expression of how I see them and how I want to show them. One of my favorite things about like my photography work is like one of my friends she was very timid about being photographed, but she was just so strikingly beautiful. And she has like perfectly long, straight black hair that just shines so well in her skin. Like every time the sun hits her, she looks like a goddess. Like she's just like stunning. And she never really saw her, herself that way. So I asked her like, can I just take your picture? And so she was sitting on my bed like talking and I told her to bring outfits that she felt comfortable in. And I took her picture and I just keep taking her photograph to the point where now she's like, I am like the hottest thing. Like I love myself. Like, and I love that. Like, I love that she is totally embodying everything that she is. And sometimes it just takes someone taking your photograph for you to see it. I feel like when someone captures you in a powerful way or even in a vulnerable way or um, just in a natural pose and you get to see yourself through someone else's eyes, I feel like that could be really empowering too. And she's a poet, so she often, like, like, she's captioned a couple of my photographs. Like, I'll be like, hey, caption this, and she'll come up with a poem. I'm like, that's beautiful. <laughs> oh, my God, that's, like, that's her interpretation. So then I get to see, like, how she sees the world, too. I know a lot of photographers, and we all have what we love to photograph. And I feel like if I try to photograph anything else, like, it can come on great. But what makes me feel really good is knowing that I am changing my media, that I'm changing what people are seeing. And that's really important to me because I feel like over time we forgot that like we're in charge. Like mm -hmm. if we want to see something different, we have to change it. So if I'm constantly showing work of women being empowered or women showing like a more vulnerable side that they probably wouldn't have shown, like things like that, showing 
the media that I want to see and knowing that I can change that, what other people see too, that feels really empowering. Like I have people asking me like, how do you photograph women who are also ph photographers? I'm like, well, you have to change your perspective. You can't see them as like, like sex items, you know, like you can't think sex sells all the time because that's not true. And it's true like in a way that you can market it easily, but what are you doing different? I know that it won't work on me. And I know that a lot of women are fed up with it. Like just seeing like women of different shapes, different sizes, different color, like different like gender expression, just all these things I feel like are really important for me to show because I want to show like my own reality and also for like younger people to see like, hey, this is also beautiful and you don't have to fit a construct. Hi, I'm Ixena Zapata and I am an artist and photographer from Chicago.